guys, welcome back to Death From Above 40K. We've got another battle report today. We've got the Orcs taking on the Blood Angels. We've got Ben here playing. Say good day, Ben. Hello. <laughs> Ben's um, put together his final arc list and asked if you come battle against something here to sort of get some practice rounds in. This is his last weekend of training for ARC, so he's feeling pretty confident and this is the finalised list that he's come up with. So we'll go through the two lists, we'll roll up a mission and we'll get it going. So in my list I've got 1350 points of Orcs, so leading them I've got the war boss on Death Killer War Trike. He'll be the Warlord, he's got the best um, armour teeth can buy as his Warlord trait. He's got the cyborg body as his relic, so all defensive buffs. Uh, second in charge, now in the legend status, we've just got the mech. The only upgrade he's got is a grot oiler. It's nice and cheap. Troops, we've got one, two, three 12 man boy units. They've all got shooters. The knobs have got power cores and combi rockets, and there's a rocket in there. And each of these has the index choice of a rocket, so lots of rockets and DACA flying out of these trucks. Then we've got uh, in heavy support, a uh, big guy, Morkonaut. He's got the custom force field and all the bits and bobs. He'll be supported by all these little mech guys. He's got a, a oh, I can't even remember the name of this thing. Big, big killer can guy <laughs> with two big claws and two custom mega shooters. Death Dread, that's him. Then we got one, two, three killer cans with Grotzookas and can cores. Then we've got these five knobs. These five knobs will be the bodyguard of this mech who will be riding in this big boy. So that comes in at eight command points and I think I'm two points shy of the 1350 mark, but I'm pretty happy with the list, so we'll see how it goes. Then if we come over here, what do you got today, Ben? Scott McPherson is my warlord. So he's gonna be running as a warlord? Yep. What psychic pairs are you giving him, mate? Uh, quickening, uh... Wings? wings of, yeah, Wings of Sanguinius yep. and the plus one wound. Okay. Cool. Right. Got a Smash Captain with what? Artisans of War. Uh, gonna spend another point on him for Hero of the Chapter, give him Artisan of War. Yeah, yep. Which will um, give him that plus one, so four damage. Four damage, and you've given him the Angel's Wings Relic Pack? Yes. Yep, and Visions of Sanguinius? That's it. Yep, so he's your usual get in there, smash the absolute crap out of stuff. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> then what do we got here? The banner, feel no pain banner? Yep. And he's got a power fist, does he? He does power fist and a uh, angular bolt boulder. Oh mate. Alright, and then troops, what do you got here? Three squads of intercessors with power fists on the sergeants and autobot rifles on the guys. Beautiful, so nice load out there for him. Get him moving around the board. And then you've got over here Death Company, what's in that? Uh, so three power fists with bolt guns and four chain swords with bolt guns. Beautiful, so lots of bolt guns and lots of hitty death. Then back here, what are these four guys? Four inceptors, all just with the uh, assault boulders. So a bit of support coming down from the skies. Yep. And then behind here, we've got the big guys all based the up. The war suit, that's it. Yep, flamer, boulder, rockets, guy riding in there, nipple guns, you name it. <laughs> And then over here? Uh, just three uh, eliminators, just with the normal bolt guns. So you've gotten rid of the last fusel and just gone the three? Yep. Yep, beautiful. So they can all shoot the same targets. A lot of people make the mistake of taking the last fusel and it can't target characters. So you're best going one way or the other and it's, I reckon this is the better option. Yeah. Then at the back here, you've decided to ditch the bar predator and go for the, the predator predator. The predator predator, that's it. Auto, well, uh, auto cannon on top. Las cannons on the side and a hunter killer missile. Hunter killer missile. So how many points does that bring in at? That is 1350 on the dot. On the dot and eight command points. Seven. Seven because you've spent a couple. I've spent. Yeah. Two on, and two on the captain and one on the banner. <laughs> Mate. All right. So we'll roll up a mission and we'll see if uh, these orcs can't turn these guys into loot or these guys can't just uh, cleanse the battlefield and kill all my orcs. We'll get back to you when we've rolled up a mission. Oh. All right, guys, we've got our deployment set up and the mission we've rolled up is a Maelstrom Mission of War, Cloak and Shadows. So for this mission, there's a few little special rules. One of them is that we keep our objectives secret from each other. And the other one is 
it's night time pretty much. It's like a night fighting rule. So anytime you're firing at anything that is outside of 18, you um, minus one to hit them. Now at any point, you can pay the command point to target a unit. And if you target said unit with that one command point, it shoots up a flare and you don't get the minus one to hit. So pretty much you either get close within 18 to shoot or you pay a command point to get a flare up. All right, so the objectives, starting from the left hand side, we've got one here. One in the crater. We've got one underneath this big dreadnought here. And if we come across over to here, we've got one here. And I'll go around the other side of the battlefield. We've got one in here. And then we've got one in here. So for the Blood Angels deployment, they've got, starting from left over here, Intercessors, Predator, two more units of Intercessors with Mephiston. Uh, the big dreadnought up here, just outside of my guys. Then up here, we've got the Eliminators. Now, in Deep Strike Reserve, he's got uh, the Banner, the Smash Captain, the Death Guard, and the Inceptors. <laughs> what a mouthful. Death Company. I said Death, Co yeah, Death Company as well. So he's got a heap of stuff coming in. So there's not much on the board. And then for myself, so I've got the Bubble of Death. As you know, with most of my armies, they work in a bubble somehow. It just keeps happening. So we've got Warlord here, we've got one, two, three trucks at the front, three killer cans, and then we've got the big fella with the mech and the knobs in it. So pretty much everything's mounted up, and then in Deep Strike Reserve, or in the Teleporter, or Teleporter, I've put my Death Dread in there. Now, I set up first, due to having everything mounted, so I'm going to choose to go first, unless Ben would like to seize the initiative. I will. You will? Alright, roll it down here, mate. See what you got. That's a six, initiative C, so it'll be Blood Angels going first. So Ben will have his turn and we'll get back to you and see if uh, we've got any orcs left on the battlefield. Alright guys, we'll uh, see if this guy does his job. Get back to you. Alright guys, end of Blood Angels turn one and he's killed some stuff and made some moves. So movement wise, these guys uh, sat around this objective. He did roll an advance move for them to get an objective because he had swift advance so he had to have three units at advance so he just rolled for these guys and these two guys that ran forward so that got him a point for that. Uh, these guys sat on objective four, the predator sat where it was and this guy jumped around the building. Um, shoot, psychic wise he got wings off on himself and then he got an extra attack off on this guy which was unleash rage um, shooting wise, so the tank and this shot in here and killed one of my trucks. Um, the guys got out and then there was a bit of combat and stuff. He killed a few of them. We didn't do any wounds back, but they passed their morale. Then up here, these guys shot over here and took four wounds off my Death Killer War Track. So that was pretty effective in that regard. It especially seems I had Feel No Pain and a four up in Vulnerable Save. Other than that, he's gotten first strike, held up a unit over here, which I managed to get the boys out and screen him from running into more trucks and punching them out. But that's two points for first strike and swift advance, so he's off to a good start. We'll get back to you at the end of the orc turn and see if we can't um, kill some more Blood Angel stuff. Alright. Alright guys, end of orc turn one. And uh, we've got into it, we've done some stuff, made some moves. So, first things first, movement phase, everything that was here has moved forward. So, these trucks here zoomed around to the other side here, so the big boss. This guy just sort of made a move to here to provide some shielding for stuff before they made their charges. And also shoot off some shots, but he did absolutely nothing with his guns this round. And these guys move around here, so shooting wise... Pretty much just everything shot into this dread and took him down sort of halfway. And then the cans ran in and finished him off with their claws. So we killed the, what's the dreadnought called again? Invicta War Warsuit. Invicta War it's actually not a dreadnought, it's Invicta War Warsuit. So don't yell at me, internet. Alright, so that's cleared out. And then over here, because of his positioning of Mephiston, I was able to drive around with the trucks, do a bit of shooting at him, didn't really do anything, and then charge him with a truck to absorb overwatch, then charge him with my war boss. 
and smacked him to the ground. So Mephiston's dead, so I actually got Warlord this turn. But then in return, Mephiston used the two points to fight back and took me down to one wound. Then these guys tried to hit me again and I managed to survive. So this guy's just here on one wound. Um, yeah, so I got three points. So I got first strike, then I got tactical objective five and Warlord in my first round of battle. So we'll let him have turn two and see what he can do with his Blood Angels. He's got a lot of deep strike coming in, so we'll see if I have anything left on the battlefield after this turn. All right, guys, end of Blood Angels turn two, and he's done some damage here, so let's go through it. Movement-wise, these guys have come across from here. Tank stayed still. All these guys have come out and punched through some Orcs. These guys have all come down from Deep Strike Reserve. Death Company over here has come down from Deke Strike Reserve, and that was about it for movement, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. All right, so Psychic Phase is no Psychic because Mephiston got killed. <laughs> that actually hurts me inside a bit as a Blood Angels player, but anyway. So what's happened to you is these guys have come down with all their firepower combined with this and blown away the truck. Now, when the truck was blown up, I made sure I moved over this way to get away from his captain because I didn't want him advancing into me and then getting a free move forward. But then he cleaned up my orcs with these guys and punched through them and bolt shot them and all that. So it was pretty hectic. Then over here, these guys come down and they actually lost a couple of guys on the way in due to orc rocket fire. And then they only killed... They killed a couple of orcs, but then this knob survived and killed a couple more of them. So it was a bit of an even combat there. Uh, fist on fist action. I uh, also blew up one of these in the shooting phase and took a few more wounds off this truck. Now, combat wise, oh, sorry, objective wise, he's killed my warlord. Oh, that was the other thing too. So he actually killed my warlord. He used bolt pistols to do that, yeah. the last wound. So in the shooting phase, he used his bolt pistols. So remember, all Marines have bolt pistols and shot my Warlord and killed last zoom. It was a bit of a sad way to go, dying by a bolt pistol, but hey, you gotta go somehow. Yeah, and then objectives, he scored Decapitating Strike, Hold the Line, and through Purity Bloodshed, and Warlord, so that's popped him up to six points at the end of turn two. So he's got a good firm hold on the battlefield, still plenty of units to hit back. So I'm on three, he's on six. I'll see what I can do, and I'll get back to you at the end of this to see if some orcs can't kill some blood angels. All right, guys. All right, guys, end of orc turn two, and we've got some stuff that's happened. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, so movement-wise, these uh, cans moved over to here. <laughs> they shot up into here and assaulted into here. And we killed, between all this, we killed another death company and he took a few wounds, oh sorry, one wound off can. Then over here, this guy stomped along here, but before he did, these guys got out and I charged my knobs and my mech over into these units. But I only did one wound on them with like the massed amount of attacks I had, so I think um, big choppers I'll go back to. And then he hit back and, and killed a heap of orcs, so, but we're still there. And then over here, I used my firepower to shoot away his banner because I got really close to it. Successfully did that, then ran in and his captain is down to two wounds. And in return, he got one thunder hammer hit through and took one off me. These guys shot over here and killed one of the flyboys. And as far as objectives goes, I'm on seven now and he's on six because I got Kingslayer, which says this turn or last turn. And I got Rolled a five for that, so I got the three points, and then I also held objective two under here. So that was a pretty good turn. So we're pretty even. We're killing the shit out of each other. We're, there's I'm only one point in the lead. He's still got a strong force on the battlefield. Oh, one more thing. Sorry. <laughs> this come out of the teleporter. Shot did nothing, made an 11 inch charge into here and did nothing to the tank. He did shut down the shooting, so I won't complain too much, but um, as far as like combat output, not one single wound was uh, was delivered. All right, so we'll go into Blood Angels turn three when they get uh, kick into the uh, combat doctrine and really start putting the herd on me. All right, get back to yours. All right guys, end of Blood Angels turn three. He swapped over into the combat doctrine and what has he done? So, first things first, 
Over here, he charged into here and took three wounds off my uh, Death Dread. I keep forgetting the name of this guy. I don't use him often enough. And in return, I killed one guy back. Then over here, he surrounded and pounded the crap out of my knobs and um, mech. So they're gone. Over here, he managed to take another eight wounds off my big guy, but then in return lost his smash captain. So it was a bit of an eye for an eye, but now this guy's down a bracket, so he's not as effective as he was before, but that's okay. We'll keep going with that. Then over here, he shot into here, taking one wound off the truck. And then he jumped out of combat here um, and then shot the knob that was there with some boulders over here before they charged in. And then with the eliminator eliminators took another wound off these killer cans now points wise he didn't score anything this turn so a, at the end of the blood angels turn three it's still se uh, seven for orcs six for blood angels but he's still got some good stuff on the battlefield um, all my stuff's pretty hurt so i'll get on with my turn three and see if i can't get some good cards and see if i can't actually turn this death dread on because he's done absolutely nothing so far all right we'll get back to yours End of Orcs turn three, we've caused some carnage. So, first things first, uh, to get an objective, I had kill unit in the shooting phase. So the big guy here blew away the last three inceptors. Then ran into here and killed this unit down to one, but then lost three wounds from the power fist in the process. These guys drove across here, shot in, did some random damage, nothing to write home about. These guys ran across to here, heading over this way. Um, and this guy killed one more guy. So that combat goes on and he's on his last wound. So that's a bit hectic. This guy's only got three wounds left. This truck's pretty healthy. It's got all its boys in it. So that's not a bad thing. And we've got some killer cans. So I scored one more point this turn. So I'm on eight. Um, Ben's still on six, but he's gonna go into his turn four and see if he can't do some work for the emperor. All right, we'll get back to his. All right, at the end of Blood Angel's turn, four. He didn't score any points because he's, they're all defend, but he did do some damage. So what did he do? He killed my Morkonaut over here in combat by charging him with Death Company, which did had 10 Power Fist attacks, so that was inevitable when it had three wounds left. And then over here, this Power Fish finished off my, that was like fish, fish, fishy. This Power Fist over here finished off my uh, Death Dread. So my Death Dread, did absolutely nothing for this entire game. I probably should give him two more claws so he gets more attacks. But that's a story for another day. Um, and then they also attack this truck here. It's got three wounds left. And he started defending this one here. So if I remove him from this or take this over, he doesn't get this. Um, the two points that he needs. Because that's the only points he can score. And these guys up here also shot at the truck and assisted in that. So at the end of this turn, he's on six. I'm on eight. Um, I've only got this truck left here and these cans over here and that's about it And then he's got all this other stuff So we'll see what we can do for this round and we'll get back to you at the end of it. All right All right guys end of our orc turn four and we've turned it up to 40,000 as in Warhammer 40,000 All right, so what happened here? I rolled random it was called grab the loot to get this objective, so I backed up into here and got a point for that. Then I got all my boys out before doing that and killed one intercessor sergeant was there, then ran in and killed another two in here, lost a couple of boys in it, but what I've done is messed up his chances of defending this for two turns, which was my whole objective, because I'm a troop choice and I outnumber him. So he's got to remove me off there, then start holding it for two turns, so that slows him right down. Then over here, I grabbed this one, so I got another point, and I've also got a defend, so I'll get two more points if I'm still here in the next turn. Now, he doesn't really have anything to remove me off this, so that's looking pretty good. So, at this point, I'm on 10 points, and what are you on, Ben? Six. Ben's on six. So, I'm four ahead, somehow managed to get a good turn here with the little amount of models that I had, but he's still got over here a fully healthy Predator, a couple more Intercessors, still these two Death Company. He's got his Eliminators up the top here, and he's still got these guys in combat. So in terms of damage output, he's, he's way ahead of me. I'm only ahead on points. So he's going to draw one more card next turn, see if it's anything good, and that might put him back in the game, start hurting me real bad. All right, we'll get back to yours. All right, 
and to Blood Angels turn five. What has happened? All right, he's managed to clear out everything in the middle of here, and he's blown the ass end out of my truck, blew it out of its socks, it's gone, it's bits everywhere, it's, it's literally this crater now. So he's began his journey to defend this for two turns, and he's began his journey to defend this for two turns. Now that was his fifth turn, so I'm gonna go on and have my orc turn, and if the game ends, then he's not gonna get to defend these, but if it goes on, this is gonna give him a massive points bump and probably win him the game. So it's all down to a dice roll. Last but not least, these shot down here and did nothing, because I'm just not, actually I've seen these eliminators in a lot of games. Not a fan, deal with that internet, all right. Moving on, we'll get back to yours with Orc Turn 5. Alright guys, end of Orc Turn 5. It was a quick turn because all I have left on the battlefield is these guys here. So they've defended this for two turns, so I'm now on 12 points. Uh, these are the only two units I've got left on the battlefield. Now, Ben's got a heap of other points he can score if the game goes on. But other than that, I can't do anything else rather than, I guess, if I get an objective, I don't know, like kill a unit or something. But yeah, I think I've, I think I've worn out where I'm at. But uh, what points are you on, Ben? Six, and I'm on 12. So I've doubled his points. So even if he score, he's got a... If the game's got to go on, he's got a real good... Get a real good score. Um, so we're going to see if the game ends now. He's going to roll a dice on a one or two. She's over. That's a six. So we're going on to the next turn. And... Um, We'll see what, what he can do. We'll see what objectives I pull out. So this will be good because he's going to defend a couple of ones and he's got another one that might work out for him. All right, we'll get back to yours and see if these two killer cans can't hold down the line for the win. Wah! All right, so at the end of the Blood Angels turn six. Yeah, it was six, wasn't it? They've... Um, Racked up five victory points. So he's defended this for two turns. He's defended this for two turns. And he held this one, giving him five. So he's now on 11. And I'm now on 12. So what we've just done is just to save a little bit of time, we've pulled out the cards. Now, I can't score any more points because I'm, I'm pretty much stuck in this corner. And the next card I got was, I think, to this one here, five. So there's just no way I can make it across the battlefield to there. Ben's got a few of his out. Now, if he if we go on to the next turn, he's going to be able to get two points ahead of me. So he'll be on 14 with the cards he's drawn. But we need to roll a dice to see if it goes on one more turn. He's going to do that now. So on a five or six, the game goes on and he wins. If it's a one, two, three, or four, the Orcs win. So this is, this is big shit. Oh, Ben, what is that? What is it? That's a three. Oh, what does a three mean, mate? Orc win. Orcs win by how many points? Just the one. Just the one. All right, that was, buddy, that was as close as the game gets. So, these have it. The Orcs have won by one point. Literally come down to whether the game went on or not. And it was won by two brave killer cans named BB and Bobo. That's right. I named them those super gay names. All right. What have you chosen for your man of the match? Um, I'm just going to go the Intercessor Sergeant. He chewed through, all three of them chewed through a ton of yep. units, the Morkinor. So armed with the, the Assault Boulders and Power Fists, these yep. things do work, people. They run around the battlefield just pouring an absolute bucket load of shots into things and then running into them and hitting them with Power Fists. Once you get to that Assault Phase 2, these guys just smash face. So I'm going to give Man of the Match to these two Killer Cannons, which I've already forgotten their names. They managed to win me the game by one point by pretty much hiding in here like killer cans do. Their war boss will be proud of them. All right, so if you enjoyed this, um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If not, don't. But uh, yeah, we'll get back to you with more battle reports. Anything else you want to add, Ben? No, just need to shuffle me deck a little bit better so I get better cards earlier. These have it, Pate. You've heard it here first. Shuffle your deck better. All right, see you later, guys.